I'm John New, and I'll take you on a tour through the school store. Hey, come on in. Welcome to the store. All of our inventory is displayed against the back wall and against the front window. All of our clothing items are hung up back here. We have D.Y. Dolphins open bottom sweatpants, collegiate style lettering available for $20, sizes small through extra large. The school store is open every Friday and hopefully with an increase in staff and inventory, we'll be able to open for more days of the week. We also have dolphin sweatshirts for $25, sizes small through extra, extra large. And council members have the ability to buy council t-shirts for $10. All students have the option to buy DUI lanyards. I designed and had these printed new this year for $3. I can just get this display right. And there are two options for window frames for cars. I have one that simply says Dennis Charm with Dolphins. And another one that I designed new this year, collegiate lettering DY with the dolphin. So a horizontal option, more traditional, and square option. Hopefully in the future, and if the sales continue, we'll be able to increase our inventory by buying t-shirts, stationery, like pens and pencils, perhaps coffee mugs, or anything else that the student body would like to see in the store. When did you first start to think of reopening the school store at DUI? Well, I had seen the store used as storage for a long time, and I decided that when I became a member of the e-board, I wanted to reopen it as the school store once again. So last summer, when we were having our preliminary student council meetings, I decided I would make it one of my projects to bring merchandise back and start to sell it to the DY students. Um, what do you think were the toughest challenges you faced during your planning? Well, some of the toughest challenges were, one, acquiring the funds, uh, and two, simply deciding what merchandise, uh, how much of it, and how much money that would cost us. It takes a lot of prior planning to run a store and especially if you have a fixed income like the student council does that you cannot adjust. So we couldn't possibly take out a loan to start to purchase clothing. So it's a matter of uh, starting small with the funds that are available. But with those funds you have to decide do I want sweatshirts, do I want t-shirts, sweatpants, do I want pens, pencils, mugs, jackets, umbrellas stuffed animals, etc, etc. Um, can you give us like a list of like how you planned to reopen the store? Oh sure. Well the first thing was the very fortuitous discovery of the school store account which the executive board had previously thought of as closed and gone. It turns out that we had enough funds in that account to begin to look at inventory and we had a few products left over from the school store of two years ago and we had thought that if we combined the old inventory with new inventory we could create a small base to reopen the store. So the first thing we did was we talked with the executive board and I proposed the idea of taking a poll with the council of what exactly they would want to see sold. So we took all of our brainstorming ideas that we had come up with, brought it to our student council and took a vote, just with hands, simple, to say, would you like to see this in our store? And do you think the student body would like to see this in our store? 
we picked the four or five items that were the most popular and we went to printing companies to see exactly what and how much we could get. We found a printing company that we in, thought had a good price and a good quality clothing. We took some designs from last year and I created some designs personally and we printed our clothing. Um, do you think the school store will improve GY school spirit as a whole? Well that is the goal. It's not really about making the council money. It's about bringing pride to DY, and it's about allowing the students to showcase their pride by wearing DY clothing. And I hope that if the school store continues to operate next year, and I'm very sure that it will, and it continues to expand and acquire new inventory that appeals to more people, that students will be more comfortable wearing clothing that says, I like DY, I'm proud to be here, and I'm a dolphin.